This is amazing. Now we have access to Anthropic Cloud API. Anthropic Cloud is a big competitor of ChatGPT and it has 200,000 token context window. We are going to see Anthropic Cloud API console, how to integrate this API with your Python application or JavaScript application. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Anthropic Cloud API. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to integrate this with Python JavaScript application and finally create a user interface like this using Gradio. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So if you go to console.anthropic.com, you'll have an interface like this. Here you are able to use the workbench that is the playground invite collaborators and get your API key. So coming to the workbench, you are able to test the model before applying that to API. You can modify these parameters, ask a question and click run to see how the response will look like. This is used for testing the model before integrating that with API. Once you're happy, you're able to get the code from here for Python, for TypeScript, for AWS Bedrock Python and AWS Bedrock TypeScript. Make sure you get the API key from here. Click create key and then enter a name and create key. Make sure you've copied the key for future use. In your terminal, pip install Anthropic and Gradio. Anthropic is the main package. Gradio is for user interface and then click enter. Now export your Anthropic API key like this and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside that file, import Anthropic. Next client Anthropic.Anthropic for initializing the class. Next message, client messages.create, and then we're defining the model name, the number of tokens, and the question, give me a daily meal plan. And finally, we're printing out the response. That's it. If you want to add a system message, you can add another line with role and system with your system message. Now I'm gonna run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the response. Here's a sample daily meal plan with balanced nutrition. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Now we are going to stream the response. I have modified the code slightly. So I've added with client messages dot stream and then added as stream then looped through the output. So if you want to compare with the previous, so before it was print, then now it is as stream. That's it, a slight modification. Now I'm going to run this code and here you can see the daily meal plan is streamed as simple as that. Now we are going to add a user interface about this using Gradio. So in this, I've moved the code inside a function called query anthropic model with a user question as the variable. So I'm just passing this function in gr.interface. There I'm mentioning one input and one output. And finally, I'm launching that. So yeah, just few lines of code to create a user interface. Now I'm going to run this code, Python UA.py, and you got the URL here. I'm going to open it, and here is the interface. Give me a daily meal plan and summit. And now it's processing the request. And here is the response with breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. That is nice. Now we are going to integrate Anthropic Cloud in our Node.js application. Make sure you've installed Node in your computer. So by typing Node version, you should be able to see that. Now npm install at Anthropic AI slash SDK and then click enter. This will automatically create a package.json file. Make sure you mention type equals module in that because we are going to use Egma script. Now let's create a file called app.js and let's open it. First, import anthropic from anthropic AI SDK. Next, constant client equals new anthropic. Now we are going to define the async main function and calling the API using await client completions create. And we are mentioning give me a daily meal plan. So this is how the prompt will look like. First, you are mentioning as if it's a human prompt, and then you are asking Anthropic Cloud to complete the response. This should follow instruction. And you're mentioning the model name, max tokens. Finally, we're going to main catch error, if any error exists. So that's it. Here's the complete code. Now I'm going to run this. Node app.js and then click enter. Now this is processing behind the scenes. And here is the response. Here's a sample daily meal plan with balanced nutrition with breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Now we are going to stream this response. I've modified the code slightly with stream equals true and using a for loop 
to print out the response. So if you compare from the previous, you can see the extra stream and also the for loop. Now I'm going to run this code. Node stream.js and you can see the daily meal plan is streaming on my screen. Finally, using curl command, we are going to get daily meal plan for me. Same as before, we are mentioning the anthropic API key from the header and providing the model name and max tokens here. Now I'm going to click enter. By understanding the curl command, you are able to integrate this with any of your application. And here is the response in JSON format. As simple as that. Now you are able to integrate Anthropic Cloud API in any of your application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.